It is Saturday, June the 9th, 2012, and it is 12.49 in the afternoon. And we are in the retractable roof greenhouse in Antalya, Turkey. You can see that this house design has a retractable transparent roof covering and a retractable inside shading and heat retention curtain that is white in color in comparison to the clear roof. We're going to check the impact of the different roof coverings and the direct sunlight on soil temperatures. So first of all we're going to measure the post in the shade because it gives us a good approximation of the air temperature since the post is not in direct sunlight. So the air temperature is 34 to 35 degrees Celsius. Now as we go under the two different roof coverings we can see here that we are under the transparent roof covering and the soil temperature at 12.30 in the afternoon is 44 to 46 Celsius. But as we move into the direct sunlight, we can see we're getting up to 63 Celsius, 65, 66 Celsius. And now we're coming into the shade from the white roof covering. And so in the sun we're at 66, 67 under the direct sunlight. But as we start to move under the white plastic we're going down to 42 degrees, 41 degrees which is almost 25 degrees Celsius cooler under the white roof than in the direct sunlight. And the soil temperature under the clear roof was within one or two degrees of that under the white roof. So what this is telling us is that the color of the roof is not having a significant impact on the heating up of exposed surfaces. However, the white roof will create a significant advantage in preventing heat buildup or increasing the air temperature in comparison to the transparent roof. So if we want to reduce both the surface temperature and the air temperature then the white roof covering is better but if we're trying to increase the air temperature say for example in the winter then the transparent roof covering is better so in the optimal design you have the white roof for the summer and the clear roof for the winter and obviously if you close both roof coverings 100% during the winter nights you will have a very efficient heat retention system because of the fact that you have two layers of plastic that are closed. For certain crops it is necessary to provide summer cooling but the plants would not be able to tolerate exposure to direct sunlight. So what we can see here is that the greenhouse roof is closed approximately 30 percent and the inside heat retention and shading system is closed 65 percent. So what this is doing is it's preventing direct sunlight from reaching the soil or the plants if there were plants here right now. And so all the plants would be exposed to fairly uniform temperatures because there is no direct sunlight. 
However, because we have a 35% opening that is horizontal, the heat that rises up through the opening is allowed to rise up and escape through the opening in the greenhouse roof covering. So this is the most optimal cooling design possible because we're able to create large openings in the shade and in the roof without having the negative effect of high exposure to direct sunlight. 